FNAF 2 The New Arrivals has two brand new badges and a Halloween update. The first badge is called Kitchen Madness. Somehow you have the determination to cook 30 pizzas in one session. What? This is madness. All you gotta do to get this badge is go in the kitchen as a chef, go to the big fridges back here, grab the ingredients. Only pizza will pop up at the moment. Click on it. You'll have them in your hand. Click on one of the blue rolling mats on any of the tables. Then it even highlights which ingredients to put on, which I mean we should all know. Sauce, cheese, pepperoni, you got the perfect pizza pie. Slap it in the microwave oven like so. Wait until it's 100%. And there you go, a very cooked pizza. We're going to throw it in one of the pizza boxes. Then all you got to do is carry it over to the counter like this. And you will get the badge. It's honestly really easy. Oh, by the way, you have to do it uh, 30 times. That whole process, you have to do it uh, 30 times. That was that was my 30th time right there. <laughs> it, it only took a little bit over an hour. But that's not the important part. It's a hard badge to get. It's a, it's a, it takes a little bit of time. So what do we get for getting the badge? What do you mean we don't get anything? And now that we have the Kitchen Madness badge, the second one is called Jack-O Toys. Complete three puzzles around the map to obtain the Jack-O Toys. So there are three steps to this badge, three things you need to really do to get it. The first one is find eight levers in the pizzeria and outside. So let's go on a little lever hunt. The first one is going to be in this arcade toy area. It's going to be right next to Puppet's box. We're going to run up to it, and it'll say Halloween puzzle pull lever. We're going to pull it. And there is one. You can see in the bottom right, it something popped up. This is one out of eight. The second one is in the backstage of Pirate's Cove, right in front of us. We're going to grab it. <laughs> My God. I, I didn't have my sound on when I did this. I didn't know that was a thing that scared me. All right. Well, let's hope the other levers don't jump scare me, please. There is also one in the main lobby as well. Uh, it is actually right here. As soon as you walk in from the front door, you'll see it. Don't jump scare me, please. I'm begging you. Okay, that was a normal one. And then, of course, there is one over in the basement. So we're going to run over back there. Excuse me, door. I'm going to open all these doors and get into the basement, finally. We made it. So, we're going to go in the basement. Excuse this uh, summoning ritual circle for a second. It's over here by the generator on the wall, right against this pillar. And we're going to pull that one. And that is it for all the levers inside. The last four are outside, so we're going to exit through the back of the pizzeria. And now that we're outside, we're going to run around towards the front. We're going to see a lever immediately. Pull that one. And now we're going around to the front. We're going to go towards this little stand over here where there is another lever right behind it. Now we're going to go straight across the parking lot to the Nesco, the supermarket. Look both ways. And now we can keep running across. There is going to be a lever right over here against this pillar. And while you're over here, we are going to do something else as well. So here is the lever we're going to grab. Now we're going to go directly across from that lever. Here it is again, right here. We're going to go directly across to these two dumpsters. The one on the right has something a little special in it. We're going to open it up, and boom, there's a guitar inside. We're going to hop in, and we're going to kind of click that. And now we got Bonnie's guitar. That has nothing to do with the levers. It's a different part of this quest. But I figured we'd get it done now just to be safe. For the final lever, we are going to go over to that parking garage that's to the left of the pizzeria. Or the right, if you're facing the pizzeria. Either way, we're going to go to the parking garage. You can't really miss it. It's probably the biggest structure here. Uh, we're going to go directly through it as well. So we're just going to hop on in. Go to the other side of it. It's still raining inside of here. I don't know how. We're going to go across to this big building here, and we're going to go in this little park section. And there is the final lever there. Once you pull it in the bottom right, you'll see 8 out of 8, and you'll get Chica's Pumpkin. Now that we have Chica's Pumpkin and Bonnie's guitar, all we need is Freddy's hat. 
To get his hat, we're going to go back in front of the pizzeria, and we're going to stomp on some pumpkins. You may have seen these pumpkin patches all over the place. There's some there, here, over there, by the gas station. I'm not sure if it's randomly spawning, but I've gotten it before in this pumpkin patch right in front of the pizzeria. And, uh, conveniently, right in front of my grave. Look, Rip Gallant, I'm dead. Every Halloween I die again. Let's go ahead and crush some pumpkins and let's try to find this thing. So it does look like the hat randomly spawns because it wasn't in that pumpkin patch. So let's go to this one behind the pizzeria as well. Luckily, we can see it even at night because they're all glowing orange and it's hard to miss. There we go. Pumpkin puzzle complete. Freddy's hat. You'll also know you got it if you can't crush any more pumpkins. That means it's in your inventory. So now... Who is that? We got a ghost in here? Perhaps the scariest update of all. Boop. And now with the guitar, the hat, and the pumpkin all in our inventory, you won't see them at the bottom, but you have them. Let's go ahead and go back into the basement. We're going to go over that ritual circle that we skipped before, because now we can actually do the evil summoning. And we summoned him. The owner of the game is here. Let's go ahead and put down Freddy's hat. Let's put down the guitar and the pumpkin. Once all three are down, they will burn and the ritual will be complete when they vanish and you'll get the notification for the badge. I already have it, so it didn't pop up for me. So let's go ahead now and reset and check out our rewards for this badge. The rewards are the Jacko animatronics. It looks like we have Toy Bonnie, Toy Chica, and Toy Freddy. So, let's go to Jack O Toy Bonnie first. Oh my god, he looks so cool in that lighting. Also, his stomach, it's got a happy mouth. He's like a jack-o'-lantern, except he's Bonnie. I get the name now, it all makes sense. This lighting is so cool. This is very fitting for Halloween, this lighting. So, we have a perform. We have an office pose. Oh my god, he's crazy. We have a jump scare. What's wrong with him? Oh, there we go. And we have a deactivate. Last but not least, all the lights turned out. Oh, no. I do like his backpack as well. He's also got a bunch of vines growing around him, too. Very fitting. Oh, I even notice that. His guitar has a little pumpkin on it. There we go. We can kind of see him a little bit better in the light down here. He's got razor sharp claws. Oh, my God. His feet are normal toy feet. I don't know why that matters. I, 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 I don't know. He does have a little bit. He's a leaf coming out of his eye. Oh my god, that has to be so painful, Bonnie. I'm sorry. He's also got, like, thorns and more vines around his ear as well. And now we can move on to Jacko Toy Chica. Her cupcake is a little jack-o'-lantern. I really like her face design. Her face looks like an actual jack-o'-lantern. The way it's, like, cut open for her mouth as well. She, again, has a bunch of vines all around her body, little leaves on them. She, as well, does have very sharp talons and normal feet. If I'm going to look at Toy Bonnie's feet, I got to look at everybody's feet. It only makes sense. We have a perform. We have an office pose. A jump scare. Oh, my God. She's going to come out of the camera. And finally, a deactivate. That looks really cool. The way the lights are still on inside of her head, but it's like blacked out. I think that looks really cool. And then, of course, you could turn them back on. Wait. Even the cupcake deactivates. There he is. Someone kicked in his head, unfortunately. And, oh my god, he ate a jack-o'-lantern. He's like prototype uh, Glamrock Freddy. How Glamrock Freddy had the gift in there. He just has a pumpkin. Pumpkin just stuffed inside of him. So, for Jack O. Freddy, we have a perform. Also, his hat is very cool. That's the hat we grabbed. Here is his perform. We have an office pose. We have jump scare. And a deactivate. And now it's night, night time. But anyway, that is how you get the two brand new badges in TNA. Jack O Toys and Kitchen Madness. And he's dead. I didn't do that. I'm going to leave the scene of the crime, though.